Lenz Law. The Russian scientist H. F. Lenz in 1835 discovered a simple law giving the direction of the induced current produced in a circuit. Lenz's law states that the induced current produced in a circuit always flows in such a direction that it opposes the change or cause that produces it. If the coil has n number of turns and phi is the magnetic flux linked with each turn of the coil, then the total magnetic flux linked with the coil at any time is n into phi. Therefore, E is equal to minus d by dt into n phi. E is equal to minus n d phi by dt. That is equal to minus n into phi 2 minus phi 1 by t. Lenz's law, a consequence of conservation of energy. Copper coils are wound on a cylindrical cardboard and the two ends of the coil are connected to a sensitive galvanometer. A magnet is moved towards the coil as shown in the animation. The upper face of the coil acquires north polarity. Consequently, work has to be done to move the magnet further against the force of repulsion. When we withdraw the magnet away from the coil, its upper face acquires south polarity. Now the work done is against the force of attraction. When the magnet is moved, the number of magnetic lines of force linking the coil changes, which causes an induced current to flow through the coil. The direction of the induced current, according to Lenz's law, is always to oppose the motion of the magnet. The work done in moving the magnet is converted into electrical energy. This energy is dissipated as heat energy in the coil. If, on the contrary, the direction of the current were to help the motion of the magnet, it would start moving faster, increasing the change of magnetic flux linking the coil. This results in the increase of induced current. Hence, kinetic energy and electrical energy would be produced without any external work being done. But this is impossible. Therefore, the induced current always flows in such a direction to oppose the cause. Thus, it is proved that Lenz's law is the consequence of conservation of energy.